What's good, tube heads? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna do a headlight restoration on the 2010 Lexus RX 350. I got this stuff right here, uh, Cerakote Ceramic Coating Headlight Restoration Kit. It says no tools required. We're gonna test it out today. Here is the RX 350. As you can see, the headlights need some restoration. Pretty bad. Driver's side. We're going to clean the lights off, which I already did. So you want to do that first. And then on the box, as you can see there, uh, three, three easy steps is what they say. Remove the oxidation first. Prep the surface. Then the ceramic coating. So let's open up this box and see what we got. All right, so I'm going to get this box open. See what we got in here. I'm just going to dump it all out. All right, looks like we got uh, the prep surface, so, which is number two. And it looks like there's some gloves in there and the uh, sander with some sandpaper. The instructions. Ceramic coating. And... A lot of ceramic headlight oxidation remover. We got a lot of that. So I guess four per side. So step one, step two, step three. Let's read directions. So step one, before starting, if applicable, open the hood for easier access to the headlights. Wash the headlights thoroughly, which I already did. Put on supplied gloves. Let's start with step one. It doesn't say it in the instructions, but I'm going to use tape. I'm going to tape off areas that I don't want to accidentally scratch when I start sanding. So we're going to get that going. So we got everything taped off as far as the lights go. Um, actually like had to get all the way in there on this RX 350. The light goes inside the bumper right there. So I had to put tape on the inside of there. Um, that's probably going to be hard to do with the sandpaper that they gave. Also, I'm going to begin with step one. So when we put on the supply glove, we're going to use the oxidation remover wipe, which is that step one. So we're going to do that. Uh, like I said, they give you four wipes for each light. So we're going to use them all, of course. I don't want to take any chances. So let's go ahead and get the wiping. No pop. Uh, we're going to start with the passenger side. So yeah, the white, the purpose of this oxidation remover is just that, to remove the oxidation. So it says in the instructions that we should see a lot of like orangish yellow come off onto the white. So here we go. <laughs> wipe not that yellow I'm gonna get another one but actually I think that I'm going to tape off a little bit more down here just so I don't have any issues <laughs>
Now, I did see in the instructions that it says, if you still see yellow by the end of the wipes, don't worry about it because there's another step that will help remove the rest of the oxidation. So I'm gonna use all four for each uh, headlight. So I'm gonna use all eight that came in the pack. <laughs> Third wipe, I guess it's getting a little less yellow, orange, I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, I think it's about the same. Last, last one for this side. Still looking the same. All right, it's the last wipe. So I guess it did get a little less yellow. That one is definitely less yellow than the other ones so um i guess it's working but i'm gonna wipe it just a little bit more and uh, maybe like 10 more seconds and then move on to step two all right guys so we're gonna get ready to move on to step two but before we move on to step two um there are a couple notes here uh first you know if any oxidation remover gets onto your vehicle immediately wipe it off um but i didn't get any on the vehicle I don't believe, so that's that. Um, it says complete both headlights with all of step one wipes before proceeding to step two. We did that. It says rinse thoroughly. So after we completed step one, we can go ahead and get rid of our gloves. I guess the final part of step one is rinse the lights off. So now we're gonna get ready to do that. round up. You gotta get it how you live. Alright, so step two, we are going to fasten the red disc to the surface prep pad, which is this. So we're gonna get the red disc. Gray. We're gonna get the red one and we're gonna put it on the pad like so. All right, so once we've done that, we need to wet the headlight lens, which we just did when we rinsed it off. So we're gonna rinse the, wet the headlight lens and the surface prep disc with water. Um, it says a squirt bottle works well uh, and, and scrub the entire lens in a uniform non-circular motion for approximately two to three minutes. <laughs> So we just finished using the red the sand disc. So now it says we need to use the gray one. So now we're switching to the gray and we're gonna do the same process we did with the red, but with the gray. Rinse headlights and surrounding areas well with water and dry with a clean, soft towel. Use multiple towels to ensure that everything is dry. And there's a note here, when step two is complete, your headlights should have a clouded, frosted appearance. 
More surface prep is needed if any areas are clear or shiny. I see shiny here, clear, and at the bottom and in the corner there. So, in the gray, I'm gonna use the red and gray disc again and make sure that the entire light is cloudy, uh, just to be sure. So, <clears throat> I did the extra prep that they required if everything wasn't uh, foggy, frosty looking. Um, and it kind of looks like I still got some there, but it's not completely dry, so I'm gonna dry it off with some microfiber towels and see what it looks like. Hopefully we don't have to do any more sanding, but if we do, we're gonna do it. I think we're ready for step three. Um, actually gonna give it a couple more minutes to completely dry and then we'll move on to step three but i think we're making good progress so far as the directions say all right guys so everything is dry so now we're going to go to step three and put on the headlight uh ceramic clear coat this is the final step so let's see how it turns out they put the glove on i almost forgot <laughs> like like nail polish remover all right now it says carefully wipe the coating in a single direction using 50 percent overlapping technique apply only a single coat so i guess that's the 50 method so I think it looks pretty damn good. Yeah. What do you think, cameraman? It looks nice. Uh, still foggy. Unrestored. Passenger side. Restored. So I just wanted to talk through the first headlight. I'm gonna go ahead and get to the second one. I just wanted to show you guys step by step how that goes. So on this last part, we're gonna time lapse it. And then I'll show you guys the end result, which you can see from the passenger side what the end result is gonna look like. I think it looks pretty damn good. I'm gonna go ahead and get to it. See you guys at the end. <laughs> Step of the last light. 50 50 method. Top to bottom.
powers like magic. And I know it says one single pass, but like I don't understand how you can do that when it's so many curves in this light. So far, this is somewhat the final result. The directions say let it dry for 60 minutes before driving or, you know, letting it get rained on or anything like that. It's not raining. I'm going to give it an hour to dry off before I back it out of the garage. And I'm still not going to drive it. I'm just going to back it into the parking spot. But I don't want any pollen to accumulate on the ceramic while curing. So... I'm going to end this video for tonight, but we go continue in the morning and I'll show you the final results, what it looks like in the daytime. So I'll check it in. That's it. The final, the final product. Completely done. 2010 Lexus RX 350. Headlight restoration. think it looks really good if you like what you see hit that like button don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell we out thanks for watching